Okay, good afternoon. Welcome back to my series of video tutorial for building management system or building automation. Okay, guys, today what I'm going to do is to start my discussion or my tutorial for a random unit. Okay, now uh, let me put it in full screen. Guys, uh, a running unit or AHU is one of the HVAC equipment that a mechanical engineer or a building management system engineer needs to control and monitor, okay? Now, there are several types of air handling unit. Okay, let me go back to my uh, system. Now, uh, for air handling unit, we have the ERU. This is called energy recovery unit, okay? Now we will go to that part. I will try to discuss what is an air, uh, energy recovery unit. Then we have also PAHU, press air handling unit. Then we have RAHU, or recirculating air handling unit. Okay. Now, uh, first I will start with uh, press air handling unit. This is the most easiest uh, air handling unit to control and monitor. Okay. When I say easiest, uh, the control logic program is very easy. Okay. Now let me go back to full screen. Okay. Now uh, for the press air handling unit, actually the purpose of this press air handling unit is to provide treated press air handling unit to several equipment like uh, fan coil units. Let's say the project is a five star hotel. Now uh, this air handling unit will be the one to supply prepared press air handling unit to all the fan coil units, okay? Or other um, equipment, like if you have this uh, high precision air conditioning unit for data centers, then this one also will be needing prepared press, uh, press air supply, okay? So most likely uh, this uh, PAHU will supply all the uh, press air requirement of other HVAC equipment, which is related to comfort cooling or uh, centralized air conditioning. Okay. Now, uh, what are the basic equipment that you can find in a press air handling unit? Okay. Now, uh, obviously, there will be one uh, supply fan. Okay. So we can call this SF or supply fan. Okay. Now, uh, just like a uh, in my previous tutorial, we have like uh, exhaust fan. Now, uh, as you can see here, this one is a belt driven uh, fan. Okay. Now, even though it is not belt driven, let's say the fan is uh, directly connected to the shock of the motor, then there should be a uh, differential pressure switch installed across the fan. Okay. So again, differential pressure switch, there will be two probes, one positive and one negative. So always check if you are the BMS engineer, you need to inform your uh, BMS team that to install this one, positive side will be in the discharge side of the fan. Then the negative side or the negative probe will be inserted in the suction side of the fan. Okay, then of course, make sure to set the set point. Okay, in my experience, we are setting this uh, the pressure range or the differential pressure range of this uh, differential pressure switch will be maybe 200 uh, Pascal, okay? So you can set it to 80 to 100. So when the, when the differential pressure across the fan is, uh, let's say the set point is 80, then a contact, a normally open contact in that differential pressure switch will close. And this one, you will use it for your, uh, uh, airflow status, okay? Now, what else? So, of course, we will be having one cooling coils, okay? Now, as you can see, uh, there will be one valve actuator, but there will be one valve and valve actuator, okay? Now, we will be monitoring the valve feedback and the control uh, command or control signal to the valve actuator, okay? Now, usually these bulbs are installed by the mechanical people in the return line, okay? So one cooling coil here, then one uh, bug filter, okay? So bug filter, then another filter here is the free filter, okay? Now, uh, to monitor 
the status of the filter because of course especially in the middle east uh, if there is there will be frequent sandstone okay then these filters will be clogged okay now actually bug filters are not washable okay so these are disposable now these pre filters are washable so those uh, maintenance people all they need to do is clean or wash this pre filter then from time to time, this bug filter will be also replaced, okay? Now, how are you going to monitor the uh, status of the filter by installing again another differential pressure switch? Now, for the differential pressure switch across the filter, okay? Now, for this one, you need to uh, select a differential pressure switch with a range of around 500 Pascal. So, because if you will select uh, lesser pressure range, differential pressure range, then maybe you will have a frequent dirty filter alarm, alarm, okay? Now, the orientation of the differential pressure switch is different from the fan. The positive side will be at this uh, portion, okay? Then the negative side will be here, okay? So, plus will be inserted in this, before the filter and the negative side will be after the filter. Likewise, this uh, bug filter, the positive side will be before the bug filter and the negative uh, port for the negative uh, tube will be inserted after the uh, filter. So why? Because when the pressure builds up here, meaning the filter is already clogged, then that's the time it will give you a uh, dirty filter alarm now the differential pressure sheet for this one you can set it to if the pr differential pressure range dp range is 500 now maybe you can set it to 480 or 500 you can maximum put it in 490 okay likewise the same with this one okay that, that is based on my experience now uh, what else now there might be also a supply damper here okay now what is the purpose of this supply damper now maybe uh if there is five, of course, our control logic program will stop this one. Then you can also close the supply damper here if it, is, if it needs to be controlled by the BMS. Now, uh, again, before you write your control logic program, you need to look for the uh, approved sequence of operation for this press R handling unit. Then if you will check the mechanical uh, specification, you will find the control schematic for the uh, press air handling unit. Okay, then you will be able to see from that mechanical drawing what are the requirements. Okay, so based on that requirement, of, of course, it is not a problem of the mechanical, of the BMS engineer, because it is a scope of mechanical engineer to select the proper air handling unit based on the uh, specification. Okay, so they will just bring uh, an air handling unit. Okay, let's say if you are a part of uh, MEP, your mechanical uh, team will be the one to select properly all the details of the air handling unit, including the valve. Okay, now, but the valve, maybe they will coordinate with the uh, BMS guy because the solution provider for the BMS will be the one to select the valve based on the, the details of the uh, valve or the cooling coil, okay? Then again, the mechanical engineer will be the one to select it, okay? Now, uh, what else? Now, for the sensors, basically, we will be having there uh, a combination of temperature and humidity, okay? Now, maybe there will be one. There may be uh, the specification might ask for a temperature and humidity sensor from the supply because this is our supply or the fresh air rather or the outside air okay because we will be introducing here outside air okay then this one will be our fresh air supply or the treated one so there might be a requirement temperature and humidity here okay uh, actually uh, if the humidity needs to be controlled, then that is another story. We, uh, anyway, if it will be controlled, then I will show you how are you going to uh, control it uh, through the cooling bulb. 
But if there is a heater or a heater here, then that is another issue. Okay. Anyway, this is a simple press air handling unit. Okay. Now, as you can see here, there is a this one. Maybe your press air handling unit will be there. Will be no return. Okay. Because this one, there is a return from. Maybe the return will come from the energy recovery unit. Okay. So it depends on the site condition. It, it depends also in the press air handling unit uh design okay now if there will be a return air then of course maybe there will be a requirement to measure the temperature of the return air that will be mixing in this portion okay so another combination of temperature and humidity okay now uh the concern of the mechan of the bms engineer here is to uh, learn how many cables that needs to be pulled going to the uh press air handling unit so at least you need uh, this one maybe you need here four four cable for this uh return temperature and humidity then another four four cable here then another four four cable here then of course for the bulb since you will be uh supplying uh power supply also to the bulb operator then maybe you need around five four cable here then also for this one, for the damper equator, okay. Then for the differential pressure switch, two core, it's two core, two core also here, okay. Then of course the fan will be controlled by a motor control. Now what are the points? We have this uh, physical and software points. I already explained the physical and uh, software points in my uh, twin exhaust fan, okay. So guys, basically this will be the control and monitoring points okay this is very common okay this are already explained in my twin exhaust fan okay now guys uh, i hope i have given you an introduction with press air handling unit okay so i guess this this will be enough for this uh, air handling unit introduction now again i'm inviting you to join my uh, YouTube channel because I will be doing a detailed uh, tutorial for almost all of the HVAC equipment that is being controlled and monitored in building management system. So once again, thank you very much for watching and Santos Capilian Jr. will always end my tutorial by saying God bless us all and let's all be safe and bye for now.